Just finished up my second workout for the evening and yes, that is me getting into my two days and staying consistent with them. Um, I am just going to have my post workout just now which is going to be some whey um, and I have some oats or some cereal, I've not decided on it yet. Um, I do think I may go for some oats. Well, I generally wouldn't have those post workout. Um, I may put a square or two of dark chocolate in it for some fast acting carbs. Um, but I am quite hungry, so I tend to get a little bit more satiation with the the oats instead of just the instead of just the, the cereal. Um, but I'm going to have a shake and make that up as well. It will just be ice, skimmed milk, and protein, um, and it's good to go. Essentially, I was having a think about this during my workout. I got in a, I had, there was three three people joined the, the Fat Loss Forever program today. Amazing to see you looking forward to working with every single one of them in some capacity. And one of the guys who joined David, um, he's really, really fucking busy. Um, CEO at a company. Um, he travels all over the place from Armenia to um, Dubai to, to Italy to France constantly for work. And you just ultimately, what separates those who do it from those who don't is the people who just embrace it and become the person who does it. I spoke to him about it and um, time for some, some fresh protein. Um, Dimatize ISO 100 chocolate peanut butter, really fucking good. Um, and I spoke to him about it and essentially, I was travelling recently for Dubai and I'm going away again on Saturday. The week after that, I go to like Centre Parks in England for like a week, and then I'm away to Florida, and I will train continuously throughout. I will stay relatively on track nutrition-wise in the first half of the day, and probably give myself some freedom at night, but you just ultimately, if you want to really make progress and do it consistently and get to a place where you're happy, as opposed to going on a fucking diet every eight weeks that doesn't work, you just have to become the person who does this. Like, it doesn't matter where I go, what the challenge is, what I've got going on. Like, I, I'm just going to the gym. <laughs> like, I'm just going to train. I'm just going to make decent choices when it comes to eating. It's just who I am. This, in the same way, and you can, you can see, oh, that's easier for you to say, Andrew. Um, it's not. It's not any easier for me to say than it is for you to say. Um, I didn't always have that. Um, again, it's something that's trained, it's something that's developed. Um, but you show, you probably show up for work every day. You probably, I mean, for those who are religious, um, we have some of our clients who, you know, they, 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 they go for the call to prayer or they go to church every Sunday or whatever. Like, no fail. No fail, it's not up for debate. Like, you just do it. And there's going to be things you do that with in your life. And until you talk, until you take that approach with training and nutrition, you're always going to struggle. You, you have to become the person who does X, who does Y, who trains well. I'm just continuing to... This is how you stay productive. And make up a shake and then provide hopefully valuable content at the same time. <laughs> um, you ultimately just have to become, I'm putting a little bit of cocoa powder and sweetener in this, just to see how it goes. Um, you ultimately just have to become the person who, oh shit, I put far too much in that, um, who does this. And until then, you're always going to struggle, always. Um, and the reason you probably can't do it or haven't been doing it in the past is because the approach was all wrong or it was one that was completely and utterly unsustainable. Even training twice a day for me isn't unsustainable. It's really not. It's a 25 minute session in the evening and a 30 to 40 minute session five times a week. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not a huge amount of time. Um, again, if you're streamlined, efficient and effective. But that's my blurb. I've got some, some shake here. And I'm probably gonna have some oats because I'm fancy and keeping nice and full. It is 5 to 9, <laughs> coming up for 9pm, finishing off my second workout of the day. Um, I am doing these pump workouts in the evening. Again, I'm going to stay relatively consistent, hit it at least five times a week, um, if not every day. Um, I will happily make exceptions if I, 
if I need to. Um, the odd once or twice a week, but as a minimum, I'm, I'm setting my target at five. So five full training sessions, five of these at night. And I'm gonna try it out for you and see what happens. Why the hell not? Something I've never done. I want to push the boundaries, test, try out different things as much as anyone else. So this is something I'm implementing to stay, to, to stay on track. I could have easily fucked this off tonight. Um, I've had a really busy day, really busy week. Tomorrow is absolutely mental. Um, and so is Friday. But, got to show up and get shit done. Nobody's gonna do it for me. <laughs> Traveling to Dubai today. So going back out there for a week. Um, this is more of a holiday, <laughs> um, this one, than the previous one, which was purely work. Um, so yes, going out for Dubai. Getting my training in this morning, just training in the house. I've already ticked off a good couple of walks as well, um, to stay relatively active. Having it this morning, going to fast until probably around maybe 11 o'clock. I'll have a shake post-workout, have something probably in the airport, meal on the plane, and that's it. So I'm keeping it relatively lean because I'm not hugely active. So it's very kind of um, low in terms of overall calories, carbs and fats for the day. Um, so again, that's how I stay lean while traveling. Just make some good choices. If you think about your fat loss journey as a racetrack, and you think about these two models, as my hair's quite crazy. <laughs> well, and you think about the difference between this car and say a 15, 20 year old banger. What is the difference? They're probably both going to get you to the destination at some point. Now, the, di the difference is the experience. One is going to give you a 10 out of 10 experience. And that is very much like our Fat Loss Forever program. One is going to give you an experience and still get you there. That's like Googling or YouTubing a basic fitness program or, or Fat Loss Meal Plan. Listen, I've done that, I've been there, and it's going to take more time into the bargain as well. But if you're looking for an all-round experience with customization, accountability, support, guidance, a community, quarterly meetups and seminars, and an, an, an immersion and education into nutrition, fat loss for the rest of your life, then that's where I can help. I am not the owner of a budget fitness program. I am the owner and CEO of the Fat Loss Forever program. So if you're looking for the Ferrari of a fitness coaching programs, of fitness coaching programs, should I say, then all you have to do is drop me a word, a DM with the words get fit, and I'll see if you're a good fit for a Ferrari of a fitness program. <laughs> Out on a Sunday afternoon, in the bag, on a jet ski, enjoying life. <laughs> Just fell off into the water, but it's all good. We're heading out, maybe get some steps in, a nice meal later on, and then into the week. And we've got plenty planned over the next course of the next week and here in Dubai. Um, but I'm going to be staying consistent with training, nutrition, and I did show my day of eating for my travelling as well. So I'm going to show you what it takes to stay relatively lean and enjoy yourself while travelling. So stay tuned for this week's episode. No, that, that's when you need it. Currently half eight, 
doing some training at the moment. Back outside, do some work, relax, and then I will probably train again later today just because this is a very good gym <laughs> and I'm training twice a day, most days anyway. Yesterday was the first day I, ha I haven't done my two a day training. I was too busy with calls, I am on holiday as well, so ultimately I just left it, which is fine by me. I'm still training upwards of 10 to 12 times a week, so it's more than enough volume, and I'm happy just when I have holidays off trips or things like that just to, to take a step back and just cut it down to that once per day. So currently training as I said 10 to 12 times, hitting some arms because this is exactly what I'm working on over the next at least 12 to 16 weeks and then we'll switch up and see maybe probably work more in shoulders but that's probably my two weakest points for, for next next year's shoot which is going to be in Vegas or Florida. Workout in the sun, got some steak, medium rare, of course, eggs, veg, and some carbs. Simple, easy post workout, me. What does a day of eating look like when I'm traveling? Well, there's Amy getting some fruit in <laughs> and trying to get out of the camera shot as well. <laughs> what does a day of eating look like while I'm traveling on an actual holiday? So, well, this is more of a holiday than when I was working here last time. So. Um, there's a bit more going out to eat, there's a bit more kind of on the go, we're doing a lot more things so I'll show you how I actually stay on track and maintain a relative level of leanness while I'm still on holiday so it is currently half eight, we've been up since five done some work this morning, fasted I walked to Starbucks, got a coffee um, so it was like an iced latte I have some, a wrap here this is like from a deli um, I'm going to have that post-workout and then we're going to a water park. Um, honestly, this will probably sustain me until dinner, which will be Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so, I will show you what <coughs> the Cheesecake Factory looks like, but that's just a kind of basic chicken wrap. I'm going to train in about 20 minutes whenever we get back, um, and then that'll be my day from there. So, it is like 9am, we're just doing some, some legs on holiday in and out, effective. All I'm doing is pyramiding up in weight, so I'm not even counting reps, sets, I'm not tracking or recording any of this. Normally, obviously, I would promote, and it's something that we could not have so a program inside the Andrew Marshall app, is tracking all of your workouts. It is absolutely key, but when you're on holiday, you just want to get in, 40 minute session, in and out and get on with your day, don't stress too much about it. We're in here, short rest periods, probably do five sets of goblet squats, some lunges, some calves, and then I'm going to finish off with some delts, and that's it. Train every day since we got here, and I'm going to train every day that I'm here. Um, just in the morning, I feel better doing that, so that's what I'm working through right now.
post workout for the the travelling, and this is just a simple chicken wrap. That's a, that, that's basically my breakfast and post workout. I'm um, going to the water park soon, probably in about half an hour or so, um, and most likely won't eat much there because the food choices are going to be very poor. We're going to get some steak tonight at the Cheesecake Factory as well, I think. So I'm um, just going to save some calories for that, to be honest. Um, but wrap. Um, I may try and have some protein of some sort, like a salad or something, maybe throughout the day. We'll see how I feel and what time we're going to leave, but apart from that, keep it light. This is the final meal of the day, as a filet mignon steak. I've got some mashed potatoes and some green beans as well. If you're looking to stay relatively on track and relatively lean, just get a steak at a restaurant. The easiest way to go, steaks and veg and you're good to go. But just watch out for things like this. This mash is going to have loads of calories in it, like probably as much as like a portion of fries or a portion of chips. Like <laughs> it's just loaded with butter and things like that. You can see it. So again, just be cautious with those. But this is a good, easy, lean option. You know, we have some cheesecake later tonight. <laughs> well, Amy's just told me to tell everyone she feels like shit because <laughs> it's <laughs> it's seven o'clock in the morning. We're out filming content. For the for the, the the video course that we deliver to to you guys over the course of six months, um, and essentially I'm going to walk through what a day in the life looks like for me travelling at the moment. As I said, it's 7 a.m. Essentially, the key here is getting steps in, so I just get active in the morning. I'll also be training soon, um, but I'll show you that I haven't ate. I had a coffee um, from Starbucks, um, and yeah, I'll be fasting probably until. Definitely after my workout, maybe try and push it to 11 to 12, um, but we'll see how that goes. But I'll get some steps in to start, and I'll be training early morning as well. Why? Because that takes it off. I guess out of the way. Done. I can move on with my day. So, um, next step, we're back from walking content in the morning. It is 20 to 9. Just heading to the gym to train right now. As you can see, going to be training some chest and delts. Going to turn my voice down a little bit because we're walking past some, some rooms. Don't want to wake empty up. Um, but heading to the gym, doing some chest and delts. Nice little workout, so by quarter past nine, we'll have worked out and probably had a good amount of steps for the day as well. Um, this is the gym. It's not a huge amount. Like, some dumbbells, cable, bench, that's it. Like, it's all you need. Like, you don't need loads of equipment and things like that on holiday. Is it good? Is it beneficial? Is it ideal to have that? Yes, but I'm not working on ideals. Um, we're working on what we have. So this is it. This is what we're working with. Time to get a session in. So it is like 20 past 12. Um, trained this morning. All I forgot to show you again. I'm terrible at showing days of eating here. <laughs> but uh, I had some Greek yogurt uh, post workout. So two tubs of Greek yogurt. I had a protein bar as well. And that was around uh, maybe a 10 ish a.m. Maybe just before that, around half nine ish, quarter to 10. Um, yeah, it was about quarter to 10, so they call it 9.45. That was my post-workout. I haven't had anything to eat. Probably won't eat again until later on, maybe 3, 4-ish. We'll see how it goes and see how the day pans out. And yeah, again, that's just kind of how I'm structuring my day at the moment. Oh. You've got money night. You, like, you're not taking that So this is my final meal. I'm looking forward to bringing the rest of it. <laughs> Amy, you always go and say that. Um, just having some chicken, some sausage, basically to finish up the night. And I will probably not make this my last meal tonight. <laughs> there will be some frozen yogurt getting ordered later. Frozen yogurt to finish the day. Not the healthiest option. Don't give a shit. <laughs> I fasted for the most part of the day, haven't I've ate quite light, trained 20,000 steps, I will train again this evening, and that's me, good to go. Right, so I landed from Dubai about an hour and a half ago, <laughs> straight into picking everything I need up, because again, the key is fucking preparation. I don't know how many times I've said it, 
But if you're prepared, if you're planning ahead, if you're one step ahead for the week, you're good to go. If I don't have that sorted at least, and this isn't, doesn't, isn't going to look like a lot, then I'm going to struggle with it. So I've got some stuff dry mix, nice and easy. I've got some salad, nice and easy. I've got some Greek yogurt, I've got some skimmed milk, and I have some cucumber. I picked up some coconut oil as well, and some eggs. And I've got some eggs um, in here as well. That'll do the job for the week. Now, let me show you protein sources. So these are in the freezer. Um, so this is going to be my protein sources. I have turkey. So this will be paired with, I'll just make these into turkey burgers for the evening. And I'm going to have my frozen veg. There's absolutely nothing wrong with frozen veg. It's easy, convenient, and it's good to go. So do not hesitate when it comes to picking up frozen veg. Um, so I've got my turkey. I have two fillet steaks. Those will do for a couple of dinners, and I have chicken as well. That, those will do for some chicken salads for lunch, or a stuff fry of some form, some form. That will cover me for basically, so this is three meals. That's probably going to be about four to five, because that's a kilo of chicken. Um, is it a kilo? Yes, that will be five, and the steaks is obviously two. And I have protein shakes and Greek yogurt in between, and that will be basically it for the week. So I go to Centre Parks, again we're going away on Friday. So again, getting back into things, I'm keeping relatively low carb, low fat this week because I was away, I didn't eat particularly bad. I trained every day at least once, most days we done twice. And the goal this week is to drop aggressively, is to drop, is to put myself into an aggressive calorie deficit because I just want to tidy up and tighten things up. I, I have just come back off the back of a sh the month in Dubai. I was home here for a week and then I'm back, I was back away in Dubai for a week. Um, so food nutrition has been a little out of control. It's not been horrendously bad. Again, I've used fasting in the morning. I'm maybe only up around three, four kilos from my lows um, from a shoot, which is actually not too bad at all. Um, but again, I want to keep it around that 72, 71-ish kilo mark, probably up around 73 just now. So get back down to around 71, 72, go away, set up parts next week. We'll probably take some things with us, but again, the evenings will be Indian, Italian, like that sort of stuff. So um, just getting back into this week and keeping things relatively tight.